gonna make a tissue box cover. And I'm gonna make this Studio Ghibli themed, so let's get a going. Um, so I have lots of different colors of felt and some measuring tape, a pair of scissors, some silk flowers, this new fun sewing kit that I just got, and of course our box of tissues. <laughs> to start out we're going to draw a template to make Totoro. For his body we're going to draw an oval shape and remember to leave space for the stitches. Then we're going to draw his ears, his eyes, and I think I'm going to make them about this big. Measure out how big you want to make his little stomach patch and then draw out a shape for his arms and tail. Once that's done we're going to cut this out and then move on to our felts. To make Totoro, you're going to need black, white, cream, dark grey, and light grey felt. You're also going to need a marker. We're going to take our main Totoro piece and trace it out twice. Then we're going to trace out four ears, four of the arm pieces, and two of the tail pieces. So it should look like this. We're going to set that aside and then take our tan felt. We're going to trace the middle piece. And that's that one done. Then using the dark grey, we're going to draw the three triangles. Then on the white felt, we're going to trace the eyes. And then now we cut everything out. And then using the leftover dark grey felt, we're going to make a tiny little nose. Now we're going to sew these pieces onto the main body. Starting with the eyes, we're going to take black thread and thread the needle. And sew right through the middle of the eyes. Okay, and now the eyes should be on. Um, then using white or cream thread, we're going to sew on the beige patch. Next, using dark grey thread, we're going to sew on his little triangles and his nose. Now we're going to sew the ears, arms, and tail together. Once they're sewn and flipped inside out, don't tie it off yet. First lay it down on top of the face like this and we're going to sew the ear on. And now we do the same for the other ear. Next we'll add the arm pieces as well as the tail. We're going to sew that onto the back panel. So once you have the arms and the ears sewed onto this front part and the tail sewed onto the back, we're going to place them face down on each other like this and sew all the way around here but leave the bottom open. Now we're going to cover the tissue box with brown felt. Anyway, I was just gonna show you this guy. <laughs> and look at his tail. 